hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another video for you guys i haven't filmed in a while i've been so busy because i moved recently so i've been busy with moving and all that stuff but today i'm gonna do a video that i promised you guys that i would do and a video that has been highly requested i'm gonna be talking to you guys about rice water you know there's this whole craze right now about rice water and everybody's jumping on the rice water bandwagon and yeah people are turning to rice water as some sort of magic potion to grow their hair so in today's video i'm going to give you guys the facts um behind rice water so that you kind of know what to expect if you decide to start using rice water in your hair and you have more realistic expectations with um how you use rice water and the kind of results you want to get when you're using rice water first of all before we start let me just say this that there is no actual solid um scientific research that proves that rice water actually grows your hair or affects your hair growth cycle so if your hair loss is due to like really serious genetic issues or illnesses rice water might not really do much for you however rice water does have a lot of really really good nutrients that are good for our hair and can actually help to condition our hair and reduce breakage and all that stuff so think of rice water more as a really good conditioner or a really good protein treatment depending on what type of rice you use and depending on how you do your rice water as opposed to seeing it as some sort of magic hair growth potion so right now we're about to jump into all the stuff all the substances contained in rice that are good for our hair and actually help to keep our hair healthy so the first thing contained in rice and rice water is um, antioxidants so depending on how you make your rice water it can be an amazing source of antioxidants for our hair and antioxidants basically help to protect our hair from oxidation that can lead to cell damage and stuff like that so some of the antioxidants are gamma orizanol which has actually been found to be a much stronger antioxidant than vitamin E I think about four times stronger I mean, it has phytosterol, tocotrienol so, so these are some of the antioxidants that you would find in rice and rice water even tocopherol which is vitamin E as well so antioxidants basically help to neutralize free and um, free radicals that can be damaging to our hair over time we see we always say these things protect your hair from uv rays and um free radicals but a lot of people don't really know how these things damage our hair so i'm going to make a separate video on that telling you guys how uv rays and um free radicals damage our hair and stuff that you can do to protect your hair against that so that's going to be a video i think for next week or two weeks from now so next we have inositol and I think this is like one of the most important substances when it comes to how rice um, protects our hair. Inositol is actually a carbohydrate that basically protects your hair strand and helps to mend damaged strands. And inositol actually stays in your hair to continue its protection work even after you rinse the rice water from your hair. So inositol can also help to improve your hair's elasticity and um, reduce surface friction. So whenever our strands are rubbing up on each other, you know how our strands are really kinky, curly, coily. So they're always rubbing up on each other and um, inositol helps to reduce the damage from that surface friction. So this um, ultimately helps to reduce breakage and split ends. So next um, we have amino acids. Now amino acids are basically proteins that help to keep the hair strong. They basically fill in the hair shaft, um, fill in the cuticle for any damaged spots from maybe over styling, heat, free radicals, UV rays, anything that could be possibly damaging to your hair that has caused damage on your strand. Amino acids basically fill in those spaces and help to reinforce and help to strengthen your hair. So that's why I said you can think of rice water as a good um, protein treatment depending on how the type of rice you use and how you use it and um, these amino acids also help to seal split ends so if you have a high porosity hair if you have very or if you have very damaged hair from like I said styling and um, heat all those stuff rice water will be very very good for you it will actually help to strengthen your hair a lot and fill in all the damages in your hair high porosity hair does better with protein treatments compared to low porosity hair because if you have low porosity hair your cuticle is already really really tight so filling it with protein will just make your hair feel extremely stiff and just brittle but if you have high porosity hair that your cuticles are open um, you will be able to tolerate rice water way more than someone with low porosity hair and this isn't just specific to rice water alone this is how most protein treatments work they help to um strengthen your hair reinforce your hair and help to keep 
all the moisture in your hair intact especially if you have very damaged hair if you or if you have high porosity hair so yeah any stuff anything that is a protein treatment anything that helps to um, add protein to your hair does the exact same thing so if you have high porosity hair or if you have very damaged hair you will definitely benefit from regular rice water rinses but if you have low porosity hair like me I wouldn't advise that you do it a lot because um, you will start to feel stiffness in your hair especially if you have protein sensitive hair your hair will start to feel really really stiff and brittle and you will not like it at all so the next substance in rice and in rice water that has some benefits for our hair is starch now rice water is very very starchy about 75 80 percent starch sometimes it can be higher depending on the type of rice so it is very very starchy and this starch is what um, basically forms a film over our strands and helps to give our strands that really glossy, shiny feeling. And I also found a study that shows that um, starch, rice starch, has promising results when it comes to um, healing dermatitis. And um, for people suffering from seborrheic dermatitis, like me, a lot of times if your seborrheic dermatitis becomes too much people really itch and scratch their scalps a lot and that can lead to follicle damage or stuff like that so for some people depending on the severity of the seborrheic dermatitis it actually leads to hair loss for them so if you're suffering from hair loss because of your seborrheic dermatitis um, if the starch in rice helps to heal that seborrheic dermatitis on your scalp then there are chances that your hair will start to grow back and your hair will start to feel better a healthy scalp leads to healthy hair so yeah that is something to definitely keep in mind okay so i think i've covered most of the yeah most of the um nutrients and the compounds in rice water that are beneficial to our hair and if you notice a lot of the things i talked about had to do with conditioning our hair making our hair stronger um help helping with um split ends and stuff like that so that's why i said in the beginning of this video see rice water more as a conditioner or a good protein treatment as opposed to seeing it as a magic hair growth potion okay so now that we've talked about the benefits what type of rice do you use do you use brown rice do you use white rice do you use fermented rice water do you use fresh rice water i've gotten a lot of questions on that so from the research that i did and most of the papers that i saw brown rice actually contains significantly more nutrients than um white rice as a matter of fact, most of the substances that I called earlier, inositol, um, the antioxidants, the phyto, like phytosterols, um, gamma rays and all, and all these things, the research done on, on those nutrients for their health and cosmetic benefits was done using rice bran or brown rice. And um, rice bran basically is, how do I explain this? Okay, so when rice is being milled, when rice is being processed, the there's this brown if you eat brown rice i think you know what i'm talking about but there is this brown um sheet that covers that encloses the white rice that most people eat so that brown sheet that covers the white rice the endosperm that is what is called rice bran so basically brown rice is um separated into rice bran and white rice brown rice is rice that still has the bran intact but with white rice the bran is taken out so that's basically the difference between brown rice and white rice that rice bran contains a lot of nutrients it is highly nutritious yeah it contains a lot of those antioxidants the um, inositol and all those really really good nutrients that are good for our hair so i think it would make more sense to use brown rice as opposed to white rice since brown rice has more of those nutrients however since it has more of the nutrients that means it also has a little bit more of the amino acids so it'll be a slightly stronger protein treatment the rice water you get from using brown rice would be a slightly stronger protein treatment than the rice water you would get from using white rice so that is definitely something to keep in mind especially if your hair is protein sensitive so yeah just depends on what your hair can tolerate so now as for fermented or fresh rice water fermented rice water has more nutrients than fresh water fermented rice water has more antioxidants than fresh rice water and there's also another substance called pitera that is formed during the fermentation process and pitera basically helps with cell regeneration and pitera is actually very amazing for our skin as well as a matter of fact um, last year when I was like really dealing with serious serious acne and I was really getting into skincare and everything there was this SK2 um, 
essence that I um, stumbled on and a lot of people were raving and ranting about it and how it was an amazing essence like I looked at it before and after, after pictures I looked at all the reviews and everything this is a little off topic by the way but yeah um, so it is a really good essence but it's very 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 expensive the main um, active ingredient in that essence is Pitera so like I said Pitera helps with cell regeneration and it's amazing for the skin so yeah i ended up going with a different essence that was significantly less expensive but still really really good yeah like i was saying back to the point so yeah pitera is formed during the fermentation process of rice water and pitera is very very good for cell regeneration very good for our skin so fermented rice water is better but it does have a very 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 bad smell so if you don't mind the smell then go for it but if you can't stand the smell of fermented rice water, then there's nothing wrong with just using fresh water when you boil it and stuff. There are so many ways people make their rice water, but yeah, you can use the fresher version if you can't stand the smell of fermented rice water. If you're using fermented rice water, make sure that you dilute it because um, the same way you wouldn't use apple cider vinegar directly on your skin, you have to dilute it because fermented rice water is basically rice vinegar and it's very, very acidic. So you want to make sure that you're diluting it before you put it on your skin so that it doesn't lead to further irritation. So next, precautions when using rice water. Things to keep in mind if you're using rice water. Number one, since rice water is very, very starchy and it has a lot of amino acids, using it too much, using it frequently can lead to a lot of buildups. A lot of these things are just going to sit on your strand and cause um, buildup in your hair. And if the buildup gets too excessive, it will actually start to make your hair feel very dry and it will lead to breakage. So if you're the person that uses rice water very frequently, you also want to make sure that you're cleansing your hair adequately too to get up to get out all that buildup and all the starch and all the buildup of amino acids and starch and all those things on your strand. Number two, make sure that you're diluting your fermented rice water. I already mentioned that before. Number three, basically a lot of times when people make fermented rice water they're not really doing it in a controlled environment you don't know the kind of bacteria or microbes that can contaminate the rice water since you're not doing the fermentation process in a controlled environment so you want to be very careful with that especially if you're breastfeeding or if you're pregnant just to be on the safe side or you can ask your physician if it's okay but just be careful that is definitely something to keep in mind so i hope this video has has helped to shed some light on the benefits of rice water and how it can help our hair there really isn't any like strong scientific proof out there evidence out there that proves that rice water affects the human hair growth cycle or makes human hair grow significantly faster so just be realistic when you're using it there is a study on rats though but like i said the study was done using um nutrients using extracts from rice bran i'm also going to leave that study down below if you want to look at it so just for full disclosure there is a study on done on rats that's actually very promising but the study hasn't been done on humans yet there still needs to be a lot more research done in that area and just be realistic with your expectations when using rice water and it's very possible that you might start using it and you don't see any results chances are you probably already you're already doing other things or you already have other products that are working well for you and are keeping your hair conditioned so you don't really need the rice water it's also possible for you to start using it and find out that you hate it if your hair is protein sensitive or something like that so just use it with an open mind um there are other things that can keep your hair conditioned there are other things that can keep your hair strong if the destination is strong and healthy hair different roads can lead to the same destination so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section like i said all the reference papers that i all the research papers that i reference i'm going to link all of them down below if you guys want to do for that reading, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on this side. Also, don't forget to watch my other natural hair videos or my informative natural hair videos. I think I should make a playlist for all these informative videos. But watch them on this side. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.